Today we're in meditation class and we're going to be listening to a little Janaeaco. This is not a bad class, this is for one who just needs to focus. Focus. Now let's get started. All right, let's be realistic. How many guys in that class are going to be able to meditate? Now they'll probably be able to focus, but they won't be focusing on what she's doing. They'll be focusing on her. <laughs> oh yeah. Boy, I had a teacher like that. I'm just calling Miss G because I'm not gonna put her name out like that. But I remember when I was in 11th grade in, in social studies class, she used to always come sit on my desk and she looked like that. I used to think she was flirting with me some form of fashion. Ooh, I ain't gonna lie, Miss G was fine. I ain't gonna lie, I'm serious. And you remember the time there was a scandal going on about 15 years ago with these high school teachers, they were having affairs with the students and stuff like that? I'm gonna tell you something, I ain't gonna lie. I wish I was one of them back in my, I wish that was happening back in my days when I was in school, when I was in high school. I was in 11th grade, but she was about 25 years old. I was 16. She was not much older than us. I think, I'm serious. I think she was like digging on me you know, on, a, on, a, on a sneak tip because she's always come and sit on my desk when she you know, felt like sitting down when she was teaching the class. She didn't go back to her desk. She would sit on my desk. And this is a watermelon head dude. Man. I'm serious. This is a watermelon head dude. His desk was right over from mine. And I know this dude. I even been over to dude's house listening to music and all that stuff like that. This dude was totally 180 degrees on me. Anyway, let me, let me tell you why. One day after class, he had to stay a little bit longer in her class to finish an assignment. So she asked him to take her books because she had a crate. She has to take her books out to the car for her and put it in her trunk. And he did. And then after that, that was his woman, I guess. This dude, man, was a trip. He wanted to fight me over the teacher. Yeah, he approached me in the cafeteria. Yo, man, you think you you think you think Miss G yours, man. You think Miss G your woman and stuff like that. You think you're cool and stuff like that. You know, man. You wanna throw that. Man, he wanted to throw that. I was like, man, I ain't gonna fight you over no teacher, man. She's not even your woman, she's not even my woman. She's a teacher. What are you talking about, fool? No, man, let's do this. So my boy was, you know, he was in the wing, he's like, yo, man, let's let's, let's take him out, man. Let, you know, the pound on him, man. Beat him up, you know, whatever. You know, I'm like, nah, man, nah, 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 nah. I'm not going to fight, and I'm not going to beat him down over something that's not even his or mine. It doesn't make any sense. This dude was, you know what it was, though? He was just jealous because she was sitting on my desk every single day. Not nobody, all, all of the desks, out of all those desks in the classroom, she sat on mine. So, you know, my head was like, <laughs> my head was swole. Boy, I thought I was the it. You know what I'm saying? This was social study class. Seriously, I thought that was the it. <laughs> I thought it was the coolest thing on the, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but hey, you know, I was wishing, I was hoping that something, that she was like, you know, hey, let's come to my place. I would have been in her car so quick.